crazy drunk driver takes a million dollar Porsche Carrera GT and destroys it in Manhattan, in New York City. All of this in today's episode of Sinclair News. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Sinclair News. I'm your host AJ, Sinclair Photos, and today we have a crazy one for you guys. So crazy in fact, that it made your boy come out of uh, my sleeping, playing Modern Warfare, and eating that I do every single day now during this pandemic lockdown that we are on. But uh, we have a person that decided to take advantage of the empty streets in New York City. We all know him. We all know his backstory. His name is BC on Instagram. Uh, I'll put his Instagram up on the screen right now. And he, I guess, thought it was a good idea to go have some drinks maybe the night before, go drive around New York City in his very hard to drive Carrera GT with the Gambala body kit on it. This is absolutely insane. And he totals the car. And then he tries to drive away and wrecks again. Uh, we'll have video of all this for you guys. Let's get right into the story. So a little backstory. If you do not know what a Gimbala Mirage GT is, it's a sort of body kit, like refurbishing of the whole entire car. You send your Porsche Carrera GT out to Gimbala and they put their kit on it. I believe there's a couple engine tune-ups as well, and then they give it back to you. And there's only 25 of these Gimbala Mirage GTs in the world. And today, sadly, there are only 24. They are introduced in 2007, and uh, they are probably one of the best looking body kits on cars out there right now. And uh, that's going up against a lot of people with like the Mansory and uh, all that other stuff. So, if a Gambala Mirage GT, empty streets of New York, and a drunk, maybe high, billionaire, driving it around, very hard to drive car. We all know what happened with Paul Walker in the regular Carrera GT. And this dude thought it was okay to go become under the influence and then drive his million dollar Porsche around the city of Manhattan. I'll show you the video of what happened right now. We're gonna kinda do this in chronological order. There's been a lot of uh, different videos popping up on the internet right now. I just wanna let you know, I was not there. None of these videos are mine and I don't know whose they are to give credit to because so many people have reposted them and I've been sent them so many different times with so many different pages. But if you do know whose uh, videos these are, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to get the credit for them in the video. So we have this first video. This was found on Alex Choi's story. I know this was not Alex Choi's video. Uh, of the car. It's on a security camera outside a store and you can see him just fly down the street and hit this parked car uh, and then totally disappear off screen. I'll play it for you guys right now. So then after this a couple of pictures have emerged uh, from the car just parked up right behind the minivan that he destroyed and then this video got released of him trying to drive away from the scene of the accident with the whole car just messed up and you can see him just spinning tires all the way down and then i believe at the end of this video he actually crashed again play this video for you guys this one is crazy <laughs> The front tires are all, all wrong with this dude. Yo, coming your way. So now it's coming in that everyone's saying that he said that the car is stolen. Some dude stole his car and drove it around and didn't know how to drive it and crashed it. But then a couple more stories and Instagram posts emerge of him actually in the car and there's no way you can say it's stolen at this point. They have his face. If you know what he looks like, this is what he looks like. I'll put the picture up on the screen right now. Uh, this dude, absolutely insane, hits this car going at a very high rate of speed, what it seemed, 
tries to dip out the scene, crashes again, and then gets busted for it. Um, if you do not know this guy's backstory, he has had a Murcielago SV totaled that. I'll put the picture of that up on the screen right now. We've actually seen that car in person down at GI Automotive, I believe, in LA getting fixed from his last accident. Uh, apparently crashed a 12C, and then I've heard around the grapevine that he has crashed his Veyron a couple times, but just not as bad as this one. Um, <clears throat> but this dude has a history of getting drunk, going out and crashing his cars, and now the beautiful Gimbala Mirage GT has fallen victim to the same fate as the other ones. Thankfully, he is okay. Um, nobody was hurt in this whole scene of accidents. Everyone walked out okay. And I believe he is now in custody and facing a slew of charges, I'd assume. Probably DUI, reckless driving, evading the scene, all this stuff. Just crazy, crazy, crazy morning in the Manhattan area of New York City. We actually have uh, my boys, I'm actually ripping their shirt right now, IX Exotics, I believe. Um, the owner is out there right now and actually snagged a few pictures of the car on the side of the road. So I'll put some of those up on the screen right now. But just what do you guys have to think about this whole situation? We have this guy who's had a record of crashing his very, very expensive cars, going out, getting drunk, and then driving around in New York City. It's just not a good idea, man. We have enough stuff going on in the world as it is right now. And now we have this mess, losing one of the best cars on the face of this earth. It is truly, truly a sad day in the automotive community. That's pretty much all we have on that story. But I just want to let you guys know that everything here is going okay. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well at home as well. I've just been literally playing Modern Warfare Minecraft every single day, doing homework, and uh, going fishing. So <laughs> uh, there's nothing really exciting going on right now. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try and film some reviews coming in the, pat or in the next couple days. It's going to be pretty nice outside. So if you guys have any more information about this story or would like to see how this unfolds, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I actually also forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. We are doing the giveaway since we hit 30,000 subscribers on April 13th. So right now it is the 7th. So you got a few more days to enter this giveaway. Uh, I posted a picture on my Instagram. I'm reposting it every day on my story. It's free. I changed up the rules of the giveaway. No one was buying the shirts. So just go comment on this Instagram post. Be subscribed to the channel and follow me on Instagram. And win yourself one of these beautiful model cars, we have the Bape Gold R8 and then the Porsche GT3 RSR race car, 118 scale. And I'll free of charge, I'll ship them out to you anywhere in the US and you'll be good to go. Thank you guys so much for supporting me in these tough times. If you want to see anything specific, please leave a comment in the comment section below. But I just thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you and your families are all doing okay. Leave me some quarantine Netflix shows to watch in the comment section below or things I can do to get past these bored, bored times. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Always remember guys, watch the best and skip the rest. If you like the video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.